right. Should probably get equipped. This nice dark dungeon. Let's see what we got going on. This is a rather expansive cave. I kind of regret never having been here before. Or doing any of these quests, for that matter. The ones I've usually done have just been popping up when you're doing your main storyline quests. You'll get an item, or something will happen that leads you directly to where you need to go. This one I just stumbled upon while I was trying to do another data request. I had to remember to save it for later, so I didn't waste any of this material. really the highlight of Skyrim. You just find all of these... There's bats. You find all of these places that you would ordinarily just walk up by if you didn't feel like completing it ordinarily. Is that the giant we're after? Or is that just a giant? A giant? No, I'll just shoot him with a... Nope. Right in the middle of the chest. Good shot. Hopefully that's not the one we were after. It'll be a very short show. I do like how the traps are at giant height. I guess to help the giants know whether or not a giant is coming to attack them. I only thought the giants held strongholds outside, though. I didn't know they'd be interior. And I do apologize if I'm extra nasally today. It is an amazing ragweed pollen kind of day. I'm doing my best not to hack up a lung for you. Oh, good. Bears. Just in time for my boat to disappear. Now that it's really a problem, I'm taking out necromancers. I like how necromancers take fewer shots than most standard bear types. Thank you for tanking, my orcish friend. Really appreciate that. Oh, yeah, here. Just an orc. There you are. Come on. If you're not going to lead the way, Giant's Grove. Sounds promising. Hey. That's nice. Puts me in mind of the Hercene quest a little bit. Walking through a cave to pop out in a nice open area. There need to be more groves. There probably are, I just haven't really explored Skyrim as thoroughly as I thought I had. You know, I've clocked in over almost 250 hours in this game and I'm still finding All right. it. Alright, I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some... Are you serious? Role. No, fuck you. Fine, then wait here. You're going to die, this aren't you? And I'm going to have to kill it anyway. Make me do your job. The Daedra said, you need to kill the giant. We work for the Daedra here. I'm not going to supplant what you need to do. Though you're probably... Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Completed. Protect Yamars. I protected him so good. Oh. That was Yamars nice. Yamars was a fool. Always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. No kidding. But you took care of him and the giants. Two problems solved at once. Got to be of help. Now, take Shagrel's hammer back to Largishburg, and we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. Thy will be done. All right. Hammer on the giant. Just a random bandit. Let's have a little snack. Nom nom nom. I do love my ring of Namira. You have anything on you? Just a little bit of cash. Ooh, treasure chest. I'll take you. 
How many mace of stunning? I do not need that, but I'll take the soldier. Ooh, some mammoth cheese. Washes down orc meat a treat. Yeah, you probably got the hammer on you. Just a regular orc war hammer. Ooh, black soldier. A little loaded. Alright, I will see you back at hard to pronounce orc place. You know, I'm not even sure what actually we stand to gain by completing this quest. But I guess there's one way to find out. Oh, and yeah. It's night again. A common theme. Lagersburg will not soon forget what you have done. We have a second chance thanks to you. Got your hammer. But what of your Mars? I see. He did not survive. He... He died well? For an orc? Yeah. Ah, that is good to hear then. Your Mars was a coward and a weakling. His deceitful ways have cost you all great. Tell it like it is. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You, place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven <laughs> worthy in all of this. I'm a better orc than you could ever be. I'm going to do I just talk to the deer head. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Now that's a nice transformation. What do we got here? Oh, Volendrung. Well, here's a weapon Aggie really has absolutely zero proficiency in. Volendrung. Let's take a look at this beast. Uh, absorb 50 points of stamina on impact. Nice. That's a number of the Daedric artifacts tend to end up with a uh, green glowing enchantment. I don't know. That that had to be intentional on the developer's part. It's just it makes everything look so polluted, doesn't it? I do like the pulsating red inside. It's very nice. It's almost like some kind of diseased eye. Well, here's Volendrum. I'm not exactly sure when Aggie's going to have a chance to use it, but surely it could come in handy at some point. This seems like something that Artug might like. I wonder what he's up to collecting his masks. Well, at any rate, it seems we've helped the orcs out a bit. Nothing really great has been lost. Again, not all Daedra require us to seek out and destroy something beautiful. In this case, we just killed a couple giants and wandered into a shrine and killed a bunch of orcs. Um, all again, completed under cover of darkness. All again, to the will of the Daedra that have summoned us. Hopefully next time we'll have a bit more to do than run here, grab this, and run back. Fetch quests seem to be not the mainstay of Skyrim. Uh, I'm a little surprised that some of these are going so quickly, so... Uh, whatever we find next, we find next, and hopefully it'll be a bit more involved. Either way, Skyrim has been positively balanced, unless you're a giant. We can't always claim to be destroying the world. This has been Alien Meat as Blind Aggie from NPC Gaming Group. I'll see you next time.